Welcome, guys. I'm just going to do a, a quick uh, tip sort of thing, a Browsio tip, productivity tip. We know Browsio has probably already got you working at a thousand percent more productive than you've ever been before. But let's just, you know, get a little bit um, more creative and more productive and and uh, and let's really spoil ourselves <laughs> because look at this. I know you, you've got these functions. Um, we're going to be updating you over the next day or two with this new GUI. And you're going to have these new uh, functions here um, in this way. But you still have, sorry, not the functions. You have the functions. It's just been moved around a little bit. You still have all the options here. It just looks a little bit different. It's just not as polished. And we're going to we're gonna have that updated for you over the next couple of days. Um, but I wanted to show you, you can still do this. And it's 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 the functionalities there. Um, I'm sure all the time, you, every day, you've got, Browse you open and you've got 10, 5, 8, 6, 3, 4, whatever tabs that you have on in a session. I know that you have, you've got this save session button there and that will save it for you. But I wanted to show you another thing that you can do with your profiles that your tier ones or tier twos that you're constantly going to. And you constantly have a certain set of uh, profiles that you're doing manual interactions with. Um, you know, so you want to constantly have them there at your fingertips and you don't want to spend time having to redo the the settings here in your Flash and your Java and the tracking and syncing the time for each profile. I know it only takes a few seconds. Nothing, you know, it's not like, you know, you've got to actually clear your cache and, you know, remember which proxies you used anyway, guys. So we, we are definitely spoiled here and we're just going to make things even easier here. So um, you've got this open. What I have, I have it in a lot of different profiles. And I'm just reminding you guys to do this because you're crazy not to. It's there. It's there for this reason, right? So you've got the anonymity up to 100%. Facebook, Reddit, I'm using Tumblr, Pinterest, for example. I'm always using these sites on this particular profile. Actually, not Tumblr, really. I haven't, I'm not really using Tumblr on this one. Um, but I am using all the other ones. And you know what? I also want to have my Gmail account there open. So let's add Gmail. So I've got all these links here and I've got all these um, tabs here. Oops, quickly, actually, I won't confirm that now. I'll confirm that later. Um, so, and we just save. Let's go into the inbox. So we get the right URL there. And we just save session. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Now you close it. Come back to it. All open. And let me see 100%. And everything's everything's exactly where it was where I left off. Everything's exactly where it was, and even the settings have changed. As you can see, it saved the entire session, and it will only delete it once you actually just click delete. You know, if you want to change the actual session, and this doesn't mean you can't have a whole set of bookmarks that you're just saving, um, and just you know save open tabs. So you can also save your open tabs. It's called save session. Um, in your version, but where we've changed this around a little bit just so that you shouldn't get confused because all it's really doing is saving the open tabs. The save session will save your entire session, including your anonymity. Okay, guys, so that's it for that tip. And again, um, you've got all the functionality right now. It might not look exactly the same over here, but we will be updating you over the next um, couple of days. All right, have a great weekend.